Hi there, Dree here, and I really like anime titties. Which is why I've been playing a lot of Genshin Impact recently. Now, I'll be honest, I had very low expectations for this game because it features gacha game mechanics. And when people mention gacha games, usually what comes to mind is microtransactions, loot boxes, gambling, random rewards, and lazy cash grabs that preys upon people's addictions. But despite this game featuring mobile game style monetization, it's a genuinely good game. I was really surprised that I find Genshin Impact to be really enjoyable because unlike other gacha games, this one has compelling gameplay, an endearing story, features top-notch cutscenes, the visual presentation, well obviously took some inspiration from Zelda Breath of the Wild, and this game is fully voice acted. The production quality of this game is so high for a gacha game, and the effort put into this game is jaw-dropping. Also, out of all the gacha games I've tried, only this one I find interesting. So far, the very core gameplay doesn't really rely on addictive tendencies, however unlocking characters and items do. Let's not forget, this is a gacha title after all. And like the rest, it's riddled with microtransactions and gambling mechanics that is disguised as wishes in this game. It even has standard mobile game features like daily login bonuses and currency packs to keep you hooked and playing. However, if you're only here for the story, you don't really have to spend any money if you only want to do the main quests. And thankfully, you can unlock a few characters for free by just progressing normally. Also, I am so glad that this game lets you unlock the hottest character for free, which is Lisa. I mean, come on guys. Her design just screams ara ara to me, but most importantly, she has a very nice smile. So yeah, sexy librarian witches are enough to keep me hooked in playing the game. So uh... As for the gameplay side of things, it's simple but is enough to keep you playing for hours. The combat, for example, mostly revolves around elemental synergy, which makes constant character swapping vital during enemy encounters and to keep things interesting. Exploration is also a fun part of the game, not just because the world is so bright and colorful, but because it also rewards players with items, ingredients, artifacts, and even weapons if you take the time to explore. You'll also discover beautiful landmarks and cleverly hidden treasure chests along the way. Also, I really find it funny that all the characters can wall crawl like Spider-Man, like, what's up with that? But anyway, the only gripes I have with the gameplay is that aiming and shooting does not feel smooth when using a controller. It feels very clunky and unrefined, maybe some sort of aim assist may fix this, but I think it's just better if they just make the aiming a lot smoother. But hey, that's just me. Since I'm playing on PS4, performance-wise, the game runs smoothly for the most part, but there are plenty of times when the game's frame rate drops to less than 30. It's not game breaking, but it can ruin with the game's immersion and ruins the excitement when engaging enemies. My other gripes for this game is that only the PS4 version does not support cross-save progression. However, the PC, Android, or iOS versions do support cross-saves. It really sucks that I can't transfer my character to other devices, but at least I can still interact with other players from other platforms, but hopefully someday cross-save for PS4 will be available in the future. Okay, for my final thoughts about Genshin Impact, the game is really good, but really hard to recommend. If you only want some casual fun like me, then this is worth your time. But if you have a history of gambling problems, maybe it's best you stay away from this one. Also, I'm not sure if playing on the PC version is recommended because other players found Chinese spyware in the game's anti-cheat system. The devs claim that they already patched this issue, but I don't like taking any chances, so play at your own risk, I guess. So, those are my thoughts about Genshin Impact. Thank you for watching until the very end. Check out my channel for more gaming-related content like this one. And as always, this is Dre, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care.